Welcome to Teddy Physics. So why do we prefer a convex mirror as a rear view mirror in vehicles? Rear view mirror means a back side view mirror or side view mirror also we will take in convex mirrors only. Why we are considering only convex mirror that we will discuss now. First of all, here uh, this is a convex mirror. So convex mirror. In convex mirror inside inside the mirror here you can see the lines there this is a silver coating here silver coating and this side is a reflecting surface so you can see this side this side is a reflecting surface this is reflecting surface reflecting surface that means what when the light ray will comes from this side so the light ray will comes from this side and it will falls on the mirror and after that reflection will happens and the image will be uh, forms and here the center of the mirror we can call it as a pole we already know about it so and uh, this is a, a spherical mirror so if you extend this mirror like this like this a sphere will come a ball stripe structure will come so it's a part of a ball a sphere if you extend this one it will come in a ball circular ball. you can see the ball so that ball is having center right that's the center of sphere but in the mirror we can call it as a center of curvature like that the center we can call it as center of curvature like that so here let me take uh, this is the ball and here we are going to take the center of curvature like this so the line which is passing through the center of curvature and the pole we can call it as principal axis so this is the principal axis we are having. okay now uh, here uh, for example uh, wherever you keep mom for example uh, here you kept the object or here you kept the object wherever you kept keep the object it's not a problem at all the convex mirror always forms convex mirror always forms virtual images only virtual and diminished images diminished images virtual and erect and diminished images so virtual erect and diminished images meaning what so first of all uh, virtual meaning virtual meaning so the image cannot be taken on a paper uh, taken on a screen for example in movies you'll go uh, in movie theater you can see that a screen will be there uh, from the projector uh, movie uh, in the projector movie race will come and fall on the screen and you can see the object hero heroine like that you can see it so here the images here hero heroines these are the images which we are taking on a screen the projector screen okay in a movie screen so those kind of images we can call it as a real images real images so real images always can be taken on a screen we need a screen to take the real images but here in this mirror we don't need any we don't need any screen to take the images why because this will form some virtual images okay virtual images do not need any screen any screen so it will uh, the images won't form uh, in real cases but for us it will look like it formed like that let me draw you uh, draw this ray diagram so you can understand clearly for example take uh, i am going to consider this one more let this is a and b okay so the uh, this a and b indicates that oh, this is the foot and this is the head so a is the foot and b is the head like that so and from let me take i'm going to take this b from b point a line which is a parallel line the ray the ray of light which is coming parallel to the principal focus is the mirror as it is a diverging mirror so this ray will get, will get divert how how it will get diverts means we need to draw the normal to it then only we can say how it will get diverts so according to the loss of reflection so first of all we should draw the normal to it so this is the normal here and uh, <clears throat> if this is the normal this is the normal and incidence ray incidence ray makes with normal theta incident angle i angle of incidence so this is the normal with the normal it is making an angle i so from the loss of reflections we know that from the loss of reflection we know that it has to make same angle it has to make same angle angle r so like this the ray will go in that case only it, it will make r so that angle i is equal to angle r will happen so that is why it is diverging okay so that is why it is diverging actually the ray is coming like this and it, and after reflection it is going there that's all okay the rays are not meeting okay we'll see if we draw another line we can understand so for example let me take um, 
a ray which is a striking pole here a ray which is striking pole let me take like this so this is a ray which is striking pole here so exactly so where is the normal here in this case my radius is the normal that's all okay uh, don't think that uh, how to draw the normal simple radius is the normal at that point radius is the normal that's all so this is the radius at this point that means this will be the normal so the angle making from this one is angle i if it is angle i must and should the ray has to go in this direction ray has to go in this direction such that it will make angle r such that angle i is equal to angle r so if you see here i drawn two rays so the one ray is parallel to the principal axis another ray is striking at the pole okay so the parallel to the principal axis strikes the mirror here and it is diverging this ray is going this side and this ray is coming this side so if you see these two ref these two reflected rays so this is reflected ray r1 this is reflected ray r2 these two reflected rays are not meeting at all okay are not meeting at all s yes, this one is going this side this one is going this side how 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 they will meet okay this case uh, you can say that uh, sir this case is possible if you keep here if you keep here it will, it will be different sir like that that's what i am saying in convex mirror wherever you keep the object same case will repeats okay so then image where it will be formed because image is the uh, whenever the the two rays the reflected rays meet then image will be formed okay whenever the reflected rays meets at at point at what point the reflected rays meets that point comes as a image but in this case here reflected rays won't meet at all then how we can say that the image will form okay so the image will be formed that is what i am saying virtual image actually actual image the image is not forming at all but for us it will look like an image is formed like that okay for us it will look like an image is formed really image is not forming at all real image is not forming that's why you can call it a virtual image virtual image means image is not there but we, for us we, we can see that image like that okay virtual image so here i am going to take uh, i am going to extend this ray backwards like this backwards like this in the same way i am going to extend this ray also backwards the reflected rays i am going to extend more so i am going to extend this reflected ray also backwards now if you see this one here they met here they met so this is the image this is the image so what point we drawn more the point is b so the upward is b and the downward is a okay that's that is how the image will be formed clearly so ab is a object and here a dash b dash is the image and what is the image properties here a dash b dash is the image and that image is virtual image virtual image i already told you virtual image is nothing but uh, the image really it's not there okay for us it will look like oh, one image is there like that okay so real image means what It, uh, think about movie theater in movie theater a screen uh, where he where we can see the images where we can see heroes and uh, heroines movies everything that screen that is a screen in that a projector rays will form falls so there we can see the images okay that that is real image that is real we need a screen like that so here we don't need any screen simply we placed on a mirror we are going to see the image that's all that is one of the best uh, uh news uh, best go good thing in um, convex mirror and this is a virtual image and erect image erect image is also very important more erect image means what head and tail so for example i place the object like this this is a um this is a tail and this is head like that okay so in front of the mirror i place it like this more this is the tail this point is the tail and this point is head and how my image will come in same image will come so if a dash means this is the tail and b dash this is the head like that okay so tail head tail head like that only will come this is erect if invert means what will happen if you place the image like this ab and the image will forms as like this i place it like this now image will forms as like this inverted okay so these kind of images where it will form these kind of images will form some concave mirror concave mirror that's why we won't use this concave mirror in um uh this uh, rear view mirror vehicles so one is it will forms why we are not using concave mirror concave mirror because it forms a real images and inverted images if we want to see the real image we need screen okay how uh, every time we can't pay, place a screen and you can see you don't know where the image will be formed right so that, that is not our business to do so and it forms inverted image that means uh, if a person is walking means you can see Will the image will be formed in a different way. Okay, head the head downward and the legs upward like that. 
and uh, and it will forms a different different positions of the object it will form different different images and magnified images also it can form okay so in convex mirror only diminished images will be formed diminished that means size will be reduced size will be reduced how much you are keeping how much it is forming that means what it can cover more area so if you take this much of mirror also you can see total wide angle like in uh, if you are if you are going to buy a cell phone you will see wide angle camera like that in that in that it will, it will capture more area more area it can take uh, all pictures in it but in concave mirror it won't be like that so the position in the position of the object changes means automatically the entire picture will be changes okay so that is why you won't prefer the concave mirror concave mirror so convex mirror why why, why we will prefer means because it is a, it forms virtual image and direct image and diminished image because of that it will covers more area it will covers more area more area so these are the main reasons so if we covers more area means which allows the driver to see most of the traffic behind him okay so that is the main reason we are preferring convex mirror as a rear view mirror in vehicles thank you for watching